So I noticed an interesting trend going on on my channel recently. I noticed whenever I'd make a video talking about Ingve Malmsteen, either in the video title or I'd show him in the thumbnail or something, I'd get a wall of comments below the video talking about how Ingve lacks humility, how he's too cocky or arrogant, how he has a hard time playing slowly, he's too big of an asshole. And I find these comments to be very moron I mean, ironic for two reasons. For one thing, while you think you're being so smart and so humble and so morally superior to Ingve, while you comment about him in somebody's YouTube video comment section, Ingve is pulling a Don Draper on you. I feel bad for you. I don't think about you at all. I, for one, think it is way more arrogant for some nameless peon on the internet to demand that Ingve behave more to your liking or to play slower or play the kind of music you want to hear than it is for Ingve to speak proudly about everything he's accomplished over an insane amount of hard work over multiple decades or to, you know, show off his Ferraris or whatever he wants to do at this point in his life. And you don't have to like Ingve as a person or even listen to his music if you don't like it, but, you know, it takes a special kind of brain damage to not realize the massive amount of impact that Ingve has had on the world of guitar to the point where if you're into technical guitar playing, pretty much every guitar player you listen to and every YouTuber you're learning from has been influenced by Ingve in some way, shape, or form. And more importantly, if you want to be a great guitar player and if you're not one right now, you could do worse than borrowing some of Ingve's swagger and confidence. I mean, think about it. Ingve had nothing when he started. Not only did he not have access to guitar lessons at the push of a button like we have today, but he was born in a country where everybody you talk to, when you talk to them about his ambitions to become a musician, they just told him to shut up, be average, and not try too hard. The Sweden is very dark and cold, uh, you know, only just the weather, but uh, the mentality of um, everybody's the same. No one got the incentive to do anything because they were told to just shut up and stay where you are. But Ingve wouldn't listen. He saw Hendrix smash a guitar on TV when he was seven, and he said, I want to do that. He heard Deep Purple's Fireball album, he said, I want to learn to play like that, and he did. Then he told his haters to f off, packed his bags, traveled to America where he became a famous musician, made millions of dollars, toured the world, played the kind of music he wanted to play, not taking any crap from anybody. In my mind, Ingve is the Arnold of guitar. I went to America with one guitar and one extra pair of pants and a toothbrush. And the fact that I'm sitting here now, 27 years later, talking to you, which means that people still give us, you know, a hoot about what I'm doing. While in today's day and age, when you have access to guitar lessons with pretty much any teacher in the world for free at the push of a freaking button, we still have people complaining of things like, oh, I'm not talented enough, or I don't have enough time to practice, or my hands are too small, or I can't get my pick slanting to work. Listen, if you want to become a great player, whatever that means to you, and you're not there yet, you better tap into some of that mom's team confidence and make it work for you. Because without this internal confidence, you're gonna see every challenge, every obstacle, every YouTube video of a guitar player better than you and every day when you don't have as much time to practice as you'd like as confirmation that you don't have what it takes to become a great player and if you doubt yourself you'll never do the things that are required to become a great player and because of that you'll never become one it's that simple on the flip side if you like Ingve, believe that there's no reason why you shouldn't become as good of a guitar player as you want to be if you just keep putting in that work you're gonna see every small win that you have like practicing for even five minutes today when you previously thought you weren't gonna do it at all because you thought you were too tired as proof that you're going in the right direction and this will help you believe in yourself enough to actually keep putting in that work consistently which will build momentum in the other direction that will lead you to your goals. The fact that I've always been stubborn and extremely dedicated to what I do and I really believe in what I do mm -hmm. and to quote Nicola Paganini one must feel strongly to make others feel strongly. It's a gamble but I think that's what work makes it work because if you just follow the wind you blow away one day. And if you want some help building your guitar speed so you can play as fast as Ingve, although who are you kidding? You'll never play as fast as Ingve. Look at you. I mean, your hands are too small. You're way too f***ing old. Nah, you're a hopeless case. But on the off chance you're not deterred by what I said and you actually believe in yourself a little bit, check out the link in the description of this video or go to the page on the screen right now. I'm going to show you a free one-hour masterclass called Guitar Speed Formula. What it is is a way to build speed where you don't have to start slow and gradually increase the tempo in small increments because, come on, you probably already know this doesn't work anywhere near as well as everybody tells you that it does. If you want to know a different way to build speed that actually actually will make you faster and that you can follow in less than 20 minutes per day, check out that link, enter your email address, I'll send you the video for free. And if you actually like Ingve and don't think he's an arrogant prick or whatever, then check out this video right here where I break down some of his non-obvious guitar technique secrets that he uses to play as fast and as cleanly as he does. Watch it next.